Hello everyone. Today we'll be doing a live stream. It's going to be about an hour. So I'm just going to wait for everyone to roll on in here and we'll get a move on with all the action. We got a lot of stuff to do in this live stream. We got some unboxings. We got a Halloween celebration and a mystery car reveal. That's right. A car that probably none of you guys have ever seen before, but I will be showing you all today and it'll be a great time. Welcome everybody. Hello. Hey. Yo. Hi. Hello. I'm glad you're excited. Wow. We're already up to 58 viewers. That's ridiculous. Hopefully we can get a lot of people here. I thought it would be a decent day to do it. You know, Saturday afternoon, kind of a lull time. Not much going on. Wow. Up to 72 now. This is awesome. Hi, my phone is 6%. Oh, geez. You need to find a charger. 84 people. That's awesome. Now, just let me know if you guys can hear me. Just say like, yes, if you can hear me. I really, really hope you can. Otherwise, it's a big problem. Yeah, sorry. I see all the yeses coming. There's like a 10 second delay. And hello, everybody. I'm glad you are all here. We're already up to 103 viewers just a minute, 30 seconds into the live stream. That's awesome. I'm glad you guys are here. And we're just going to roll it on up and start with, I don't know, what do you guys want to start with? You want to start with the mystery car? You want to wait for some more people to get here? Or maybe just start with like an unboxing? I think we should start with an unboxing. Some people are saying the stream is not doing well. It's like buffering. So hopefully that will straighten out and then we'll get going here. Up to 126 people. That's great. Ivan Guerrero, sorry if I mispronounce your name. The shiny wax hauler is actually a custom. It was never released by Mattel. All right, I think people are saying it's fine. I got Carl Clutch on eBay, just so you know. 130, 140 people. This is amazing. Easy Idol's name is Carl Clutchin. The final stock car to be released except for the Apple iCar. Looks like we got people from all over the world. People who are telling me that it's Sunday for them. People in Wisconsin. That's great. So we're going to start with the unboxing as long as everybody, you know, says they are here, you know, doing well, they can hear the video. And now I know I just did this huge unboxing video last weekend. It was like 50 cars and, you know, I just wanted to get them all out of the way so I can do my collection video and have like everything in my collection and not have a bunch of holes like where Junior Moon and River Scott are supposed to be, etc. And so after that video, I actually found some more cars that I needed to unbox. So yeah, we got some more to do today. And I want to start off here with Jonas Rivera in this three pack with Greta and Cruz and Ramon, or do they call this old school? Yeah, they call him old school Ramon. Now this Jonas here is exclusive to this three pack. And this three pack is exclusive to Toys R Us. Or should I say was exclusive because, yeah, Toys R Us is pretty much dead in most countries. Canada is one exception. Although there are rumors it may come back. So yeah, on the back here you can see before the interstate was built, visitors from near and far traveled on Route 66 right through the heart of Radiator Springs. They encourage you to recreate scenes from the movie. And there you go. You have a nice pick of Sarge. And Fillmore and Hank Halloween Murphy, who we got right here, because, you know, Halloween. We're going to get to that Halloween celebration soon. We got the customs from Four Wheel Drive 7. Maybe he'll tune in today as well. You can also see this other three-pack with exclusive Percy handbrakes, along with brand new Mater and Edwin Cranks. There's also a couple new three-packs as well that have hit like a Portuguese Toys R Us store and that's pretty much it. I got one, it's Mater, Artis, Ramon, and Otis and the other one is like brand new Mater, Edwin Cranks and I can't think of the other car. I think it might be Hank as well. But we're gonna crack this one open here. I got this a long time ago and I just put it in like 
a box. I don't know why. I used to have it like out to remind myself to do a video on it, but somehow it got lost. I found it just last weekend when I was reorganizing. I'm not looking at the chat right now, so sorry if I missed your question or something, but just focusing on this right now. All right, so we got lots of little cords here to unravel. I'll do that behind myself so I don't accidentally knock over the camera. Hello, FinSilver16. How are you? We're up to 199 viewers. That is amazing. That is just... Thank you guys so much for coming, taking time out of your day to spend it here on the live stream. It really means a lot to me. I'm not just saying that. Hello, Russ Racing. What's up? Man, the messages are coming in so fast. Nate TV, I am well. You know, I just got done with work a couple hours ago, had lunch. Now I was like, I'm on key with my promise that I said last week and do a live stream. How are you? Piston Cup Productions, what's going on? You should not be playing your cello right now. Your cello. Hashtag Cars 4. You know what? I wish. I wish. All right, I got Jonas out almost. Uh-oh, he's got some weird, like, paint around his fender. Doesn't look like a chip. I'll show you guys in just a moment here. Got one more string to get off. You know, I hate these. They're so hard to get out. All righty here. Almost. Don't want to bend the axles, but, you know, it's hard to avoid. Jesus, you can see the car. All right. Got it. Here's Jonas Rivera, based on Jonas. There's like Rivera, um, Riviera, someone like that is a Pixar employee. So he's based very closely on that employee. I like this guy a lot. You know, he did appear a couple times in the flashback scene. But what I was talking about is this like little residue around the fender here. This like white paint. Hopefully I can scratch it off later. Yeah, it looks like it's coming off. Awesome. Better than a chip. His license plate is 2769. Spring Bunny, you found a fiber fuel pity that is awesome. You must live in Australia. My opinion on all the re-releases of Ryan Inside Laney. You know what? I don't get it. But if I was Ryan Blaney, I'd be pretty happy. Like The fact that my character is getting released so many times, I'd be pretty happy. But I think they should you know, balance it out and really release like Chase Elliott's car, Chase Racelet a little more. They just re-released Bubba Wheelhouse the other day in the Carbon Cyber Pack. So I guess that's good, but definitely would be nice to see Chase Racelet again. All right, we'll just set him there. I guess I can unbox the other ones. I do need a new Greta because the one I have is chipped. There are no 2018 cars in Australia. Are you kidding? That is terrible. I hope they come soon. I think, you know, some stores have them. I've heard some people in Canada have found 2018 cars. Thank you, Michael Gonzalez. That is very, very nice of you to say. So, Blues, I actually already opened those characters, High Impact and Blind Spot. There's that three-pack on Amazon with them two and Cruz as Francis Beltline. And it just came like a month or so ago. And they're not in like a packaging, they're just like in a blister pack. It's kind of like a multi-pack, just in a box. And I got them that way, so yeah. I may like review them or show them in a video eventually, but yeah. Will not be unboxing them. You gotta be kidding me! This Greta has chips as well. I swear, like, let me think. 75% of the Gretas ever have chips on the headlights. And you may not be able to see it too well, but there are minor chips on each there. And that is where the chip is on my other one. And my other one. Oh, it is so frustrating. You guys have no idea, Greta. Those headlights are just not painted that well. And the, you know, the chip so easily. All right. But it's not bad. It's better than the one I have. Would you make... Oh. 
Let's scroll back up. Will you make a video on The Incredibles Blu-ray when it's released in two weeks? You know, I definitely consider it, although I don't know what I talk about that much. I would rather, you know, have done a video when the movie came out, but I do plan doing a lot of videos for Toy Story 4. Like, you know how I wanted to do all these Disney videos with the new name Disney Docket, but I've been still doing a lot of Cars videos, and that's just because... Uh, I just wanted to wait for like Toy Story 4 to really come out and then I can just, I don't know, really work hard there, do like all the speculation videos. Plus, I'm more familiar with Toy Story, the franchise, than Incredibles. I've only seen Incredibles once, whereas I've seen the Toy Story movies multiple times. Christopher Holmes, life is going great. I'm living the dream. How about you? We were up to 199 people, and now we're down to 166. Where did everyone go? Hello, Daniel Valentine. Valentine, hopefully I pronounced your name correctly. Maybe a collab for when Avengers 4 trailer comes out. Yeah, absolutely. I would definitely like to do a video on that as well. Probably it'll come out in like a month, because the Avengers 3 trailer came out on like November 28th, I think. McQueen won seven Piston Cups, for those people curious. The Shiny Wax Hauler is a custom from Jim Scavenger. If you'd like to get some information on like Jim Scavenger and his customs, you can check out my video on the Custom Taco Mint Hauler. And uh, no, I will probably not see Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Not saying it's a bad movie, though. I'm sure it'll be great. In fact, I picked up the Hot Wheels for it, the Miles Morales car, and then the other Spider-Man from the Hot Wheels line, and they're pretty cool. All right, still trying to get the wires out of cruising old school Ramon, and he looks sharp, crisp like always. We got another Ramon over there. That's a custom Ramon Nagler picture, maybe tonight or tomorrow. But yeah, all right, we're down to 153 people. Where is everyone going? What's going on? Can you possibly show that Ramon? Yes, Aaron. Rust Racing says it's lagging. That is not good. Don't like to hear that, but hopefully it's not for everybody. So here's the custom Ramon. It's from Toy Wiz. They employed like some expert painters, like extremely expert painters and or a painter plural to paint this and it is beautiful like you could see it has like metallic gray flames or i don't know if you would consider it flames but like metallic gray fades into a metallic black and then like burgundy purple for the rest of them and man beautiful there's a couple left on ebay if you search disney cars custom ramon and they're only like $37 shipping included, which in my opinion is a great deal. And there are no imperfections here. This is a flawless custom. And I am just treating it with like such delicacy because I don't want to drop it and chip it because it is just beautiful. It's amazing. Great job. I, you know, they don't say who actually did it, but whoever did, if you're watching this video, even though I highly doubt it, great job. I saw Four Wheel Drive 7 was here. You have a request. All right, tell me, tell me, tell me. Although I do know your other request, and I will work on that. Don't worry. I will work on that. Candy Cane, you have old school Ramon. That's great. All right, so actually one other thing I want to do here. If Mick Frozen Nuggets is here, I need to give a shout out to him. He sent me some free cars. So if he's here, we're going to do that next, and then we'll move on to... Maybe the mystery car. So, McFrozen Nuggets, are you here? And then we'll see what we're going to do. Oh, hopefully he is. But in the meantime, I'm just going to talk about some other things. Like, I don't know. Yeah, all right. Somebody wants to see the Globy prototype. So here he is. A couple people want to see the Globy prototype. Awesome. Now this thing's heavy. This thing's big. Like if you compare him to Ramon, a lot of people have Ramon. So he's pretty big. This, you know, metal part here, the middle section is completely metal. 
There's two pieces to it. The rest is plastic. Spoiler is plastic. This is a really awesome prototype, and I hope they do release the you know regular version. I mean, they were supposed to this year, but I don't know. Seems like this year kind of was a flop for Mattel. Kind of a flop. Seems like we have somebody here who's not being nice, so thank you for reporting them. And we're up to 185 people. Awesome, awesome. McFrozen Nuggets is here. So McFrozen Nuggets sent me a couple free cars just out of the kindness of his heart. And I really, really appreciate that. One of them being this Lenticular Leakless, which is my favorite because I did not have this previously. And I mean, who doesn't like the classic Claude Scruggs Leakless? So thank you so much, McFrozen Nuggets. I wanted to take time out of this live stream to highlight that and really, you know, give you a shout out because, you know, you didn't have to send me free cars. And I really appreciate that. Here are the other ones. We have Lenticular Lightning McQueen, the blinking one, or I don't know. No, this is not the blinking version. This is just moving his eyelid up or eyebrow. And lastly is the king. Lenticular as well. Look at that. Awesome. You're right. McFrozen Nuggets is awesome. So yeah, I wanted to take time to give him a shout out here. He definitely deserves it. All right. Let's see. Take a couple seconds here. Somebody wanted to see this Mater prototype with the 95 hat, which is pretty sweet. Again, another release that was supposed to come out this year, but hasn't. He was revealed alongside Tree Room, the pink trainee. So I don't know, like, I don't know how some of them got released before others. Like, they revealed, like, all the cars around, like, the same time. Like, the Fiber Fuel Pity, like, you know, Megan Shifter, who I do not have. And, you know, like, Shree Room, Chris Roman, those guys... And yet, only a couple of them got released. And this guy, you know, was right there. And so was Leroy Hemming. But I feel like the shift to Thailand was a big, just like something that really slowed them down. But hopefully, you know, they'll figure that out and eventually, you know, get back to the way things used to be. Piston Cup Productions asks, is he is the Precision Series model? And I don't think so. Although I don't really know, you know, the Precision Series one has the back window there, and he does not. It's completely flat. It's really hard to tell, honestly. It does look like he's like the same size as Mater with cone teeth, though. Hmm. Don't really know. Put him back there. All right, I think we should do the mystery car reveal because we're at 180 viewers here. And, you know, we were up to 199 but I don't think we'll get there again or maybe we will but seems like we have a pretty high amount right now and we're going to just you know do the mystery reveal now why not the tow hook on the prototype yeah that's a cool red thing whoa all the messages just like flooded in there was like this big gap where there were no messages and they flooded in Aaron's world of cars yes I have seen Venom Chad Alenger, I don't know if I pronounce your name, but I'm not sure if they're going to make Christmas cars this year. They may re-release some, but it seems like they won't make any new ones like that Sarge. Bass, Boost, CMG, I got the stand off eBay, and it was originally sold in Carsland. Potato Power 393, yes, it is the new 2018 release of Maddie McGear. We're at 173. I will not be opening Carl Clutchin just yet. He gets his own video. Golden Saddy says the tow hook is different. Is it? I really don't know. I have no clue. It looks a little bigger, maybe. Sorry, I will not be unboxing him. Carl Clutchin, that is. He will be unboxing his own video in about a week and a half. Probably like next Saturday if we're lucky. But if not, it'll be like the following. And yes, Piston Cup Productions, this Maddie is not common at all. I've never found one. I bought it off eBay the other day. 
Because, you know, I figured, like, I'd like to have that. I really like her card art. It looks great. But we're at 186 people, so we're going to do the mystery car reveal. Now, some of you, if you're really, really in tune with stuff, like, if you really, really are, like, Full Wheel Drive 7, he may have seen this because he's always on top of stuff like that. Always look on Taobao, which is a Chinese, Asian, eBay, essentially. But yesterday, I was looking on Taobao, and I found this amazing new car. And first, I'm going to show you where she appeared in the movie. Now, this is a canceled car, as it was probably supposed to be released in 2017 early, like I'd say January to March before Cars 3. And it's actually the car in the back here. It's the one with the flower hat, the yellow flowers there. It's not this one. It's that blue car back there with the flower hat. Just keep that in mind. And then here we go. Mystery reveal. Look at this. A car that probably none of you guys have seen before. And I have to say this is one of my new favorite cars, even though she's canceled. I would absolutely love for this car to be released, but... Of course, it has to be one of the ones they canceled, but check this out. I mean, that's a gorgeous car with that hat. Although, I don't know, of all the cars they chose to release this one, that was barely in the background there. But I have to say, it's pretty awesome. Found it on Taobao, out of stock, unfortunately. Yep, Green Caterpillar, it was canceled. Hopefully, you know, you're not disappointed with this reveal, but I do have to say, I love this car. This is one of my new favorite cars of all time, even if it is canceled, just because of how unique it is. Let me know what you guys think about it. And yeah, that was the mystery car reveal. Hopefully, you know, I didn't let you guys down, but we're going to place Guido there so we can hold up the picture. Yes, I've actually played all the cars games, Racing Master 4. It does not have a name, Angelo Montero. My day's going great, whoever said that. It's just going by so fast, the chat. All right. What is my opinion on the mini racers that glow in the dark? So, you know what? If I was Mattel, I would focus my attention on metallic silvers, new characters, and not glow in the dark. They would definitely not be my first choice to do. But, you know, if they are going to do that, at least do them well. And now I only have Danny Suarez that glows in the dark, and I've tried them, and he does glow pretty well. I have to say, it's pretty cool. But, you know, they're doing Jackson Storm, Tim Treadless, Lightning McQueen, Luigi and Guido, Cruz Ramirez. And, like, it's cool, but, like, like I said... Do other stuff first. Do the cooler stuff. The better cars like Silvers, Metallics, and obviously new characters. Like we still don't have Bobby Swift. They could do more next gens, which they are. They're doing HJ Hollis. They are doing Bobby Swift, but you know, hopefully those will be out soon. We don't know when though. Yes, I hope Richie Guns It gets released soon as well. Michael's cars reviews shorts and more. The mystery car is from Cars 2. This is from just after the start of the Porta Corsa race, like immediately after, and they flash to a couple yachts in the water, in the bay. My favorite Pixar movie besides Cars is like Toy Story, probably Toy Story. I also like Coco a lot. Interstate 290, I have no idea when that will get released. No clue, but hopefully soon. And we do need a mod in the chat, but I, I don't know. Let's see if I can make somebody a mod. Yes, I can. All right. You're a mod. Who else we got here? What is my opinion on Thomasville Cruz being a mini racer before 155 scale? Same for fair game. I think it's a little silly, a little ridiculous, but I don't know. At least they're releasing some rendition of it even though they haven't released the full version yet. At least we got some part of it, like we got a mini, and eventually I'm sure we'll get both of those as 155 scale releases. I'm sure we will eventually. I think we should move on to maybe our second unboxing of the day. 
What do you guys think? We're at 25 minutes here. Hmm. I will do more stop motions. I plan on it. Finn Silver, yes, you are now a mod. Who else should I make mod? We're gonna make mods who are mods on Google Plus. My Google Plus community, which you should totally join, it's called Disney Cars and Planes Community. So if you're mod there, you're automatically a mod here as well. If I see your name, sorry for moving the camera. So Astro Smokey, Disney Gunner. If you guys want to leave a comment so I can automatically make you a mod here. All right. Just want to make sure everything's going smooth. We don't want any mischievous behavior going on. All right, we got some mods. Awesome. Adventures of Jake, thanks so much. I'm glad you think that I'm your favorite YouTuber. I think we should go on to the second unboxing here, although I am a little hesitant to, hesitant to unbox this just because of, you know, it's so rare, so rare. You guys can take guesses as to what it is. There's always that 10 second delay here. We got some timing out going on. Michael Gonzalez, you have to leave? No. I got the Piston Cup stand from eBay. As I mentioned before, it was originally sold in Cars Land though, which is in Anaheim, California. Favorite MCU character that's not Bucky, who is the Winter Soldier? That's tough, what are you doing to me? Um, I like Daredevil a lot. I'd probably have to go with Daredevil or Captain America. I have been watching The Walking Dead Season 9. Although I'm not too impressed with it. A little sad that Rick's leaving. A little sad. Actually, a lot of sad. Who else we got here? Da, 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 da. Misbehavior going on. We don't want any of that. Daniel Valentine. The date for Carl Clutchin is a little tentative right now, but I'd say, I'd say like November 7th around there at the latest. I like Aladdin more than Mulan, but they're both great. So here is the next unboxing. It's another Radiator Springs Classic release multi-pack called Radiator Springs Grand Prix. And it has exclusive car of Tom Tock. Now, fortunately, I found this at Ross for only 14 bucks because it was only released in Europe and Australia. So I know it's pretty rare. There aren't really any on eBay. There might be one loose one on eBay. But yeah, here we got Tom Tock. Exclusive vehicle. Not too exciting. I'd say Jonas is probably a better car. Just, you know, visually looking. I mean, Tom's just a white coupe. We have Shara, Francesco Bernoulli, Sally, and Kachow Lightning McQueen, though. And there, there's the pack that we just unboxed. I do not play a Fortnite. What's up with McQueen? He's depressed. now. he's actually just kind of doing a chill look. He's just kind of like, yeah, you know. Piston Cup Production says, I would not unbox that, but I'm going to. I got to have this guy loose, and don't worry. I have several others in the package. I have two, actually, I think. I think I have two. So, yeah, we're going to crack this guy open. I've been dying to get him open for like a year now. I mean, check, it's already pretty damaged on the side here. I bought it like that, so it's meant to be opened. I've never watched Shrek, Epic Lightning 95, so I wouldn't know. Lazy Lightning McQueen, I guess you could say that. I mean, he didn't race in Cars 3 that much, so yeah, he's pretty lazy. we could get this open that would be great the tape is just killer you know i mentioned this in my unboxing video last weekend tape on cars just ruins it all for everybody it's no fun she 
Yankees. This is tough. Look at this. All right. Listen to Disney Gunner. He's right. I don't like how all the messages come to me in spurts. Phobia Drive wants me to sing the tire song, but see the thing is I don't know the tire song. I really don't know the tire song. Maybe you could give me the lyrics and then I could I can give it a shot, but I don't know. Alright, I got it out. Now we're going to have to do the wires again. Look at this, they're multicolored. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Hopefully Tom is not damaged. So that would just be devastating. Thank you, Next Gen Rev and Go. I'm glad you think I rule. Yeah, I don't know what the tire song is. I really don't. So maybe Four Wheel Drive 7 can give us the lyrics here. Although I think the comments for live streams only allow... But yeah, the messages like come in spurts. It's like I have a long gap where like nothing is coming in at all. And then like in one second, like 10 messages rush in. So weird. We're down to 165 viewers, up to 51 likes. Not bad, not bad. Please stay, please stay. We got more fun to have. All right, got Tom Talk out. Now we just need to get rid of his little octopus legs. Whoa. Sorry for moving the camera. Sorry for the 10 second delay, but it happens to everyone. I don't think it's just me, you know, on the live stream. I think, you know, all live streams have some sort of delay. I really am sorry though. My favorite cars for sponsor, mm, I like Intersection a lot. I also like, you know, the classics like Nightshade and Leakless still. The Tire Song is the song that Luigi sang to McQueen is honestly hilarious and stupid at the same time. Oh, you need some tires, you need some tires, you need some tires, 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 tires. All right, I sang it. I don't know how good that was. I don't know the beat, but, you know, that's okay. All right. Here's Tom Talk. Just an Opal Corsa. Yep, you can see Corsa right there. That's the Opal logo. Go Max. That is gross. The reason why he has the Go Max license plate is because he's the same model as Aloy Hemberger, who's a Max Schnell fan. And they just kept on the same body and repainted them, gave them a new expression, and forgot to change the license plate because he's probably not a Max Schnell fan. And the chances of him being one is very, very small. But yeah, here's Tom Talk. I'm glad to finally have him loose, and I'll put him in my display now along with Jonas. Now I got to open all these others, all for the rest of them. Oh, well. Yeah, it really is Piston Cup Productions. I can't believe they just kept the same license plate, but what are you going to do? Chad, I'm glad you think the community is awesome. It's been doing great lately. We've had a record number of posts, record number of comments, and I've been really enjoying, you know, talking to you guys on there. And hopefully, you know, more of you guys will join that see this and, you know, go to Google+. Plus. It's easy. It's free. It's convenient. It's better than the Facebook groups. In my opinion, the Facebook groups have like some drama. But I don't know, not necessarily drama, but like a lot of people with very strong mentalities that they butt heads a lot. I don't know. Whereas on the Google Plus community, it's very laid back, you know, post and just kind of talk about it, you know, have fun. We got contests, you know, we got prizes for the piston quiz. So, you know, a lot of stuff going on, lots of, you know, activity all the time. All right, we got Sally out. Did I? Yes, I did review Roscoe twice, but that's because there's two variations of him. Actually, did I? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. I reviewed Roscoe, right? I can't remember. I thought I did, the big Roscoe. I think I did. 
Anyway, here is Sally without the strings. Yes, Rust Racing is correct. Join the community, please. We're almost at 2,000 members, so if you're the 2,000th member, I mean, that's a good feeling. That'd be pretty cool. All right, Golden Saddle, thanks for letting me know that I reviewed the big one as well. I think I did. I mean, I have it loose. Like, usually if I have something loose, I, that means I reviewed it or at least showed it in the video. Like, for example, I don't have the new Lightyear Blimp loose, and that's because, you know, he's still in the package. I'm thinking of actually unboxing him today if time permits. We'll see. Not entirely sure if I want to unbox him, but we'll see. Potato Power, you have to go? Come on. Where you gotta go? Where is somewhere better than this? We have 1,969 members. That is 31 away from 2,000. Yes! So please join. I mean, it's so much fun. I just gave a prize away to Ponchy Wipeout 90 because he won the first season of the Piston Quiz and he chose a custom Mac iCar. And wanted me to sign it, which is pretty cool. So this is my first car that I ever signed. And yeah, you can just you know participate in the constant quizzes. And you get points from winning the quizzes. And once you reach a certain amount of points, then you get a prize. You have to be the first one, though. All right, we have Kachow Lightning McQueen now loose as well. I don't think he's a variant from the original release, but it is his first re-release. Parker breaks in. Yes, you do got to go to Google+. Plus, Please. Harvey Rodcap, welcome. I'm glad you're here. We're up to, we're down to 137 people. I guess people are just having to go, but that's fine. We're up to 143. It's fluctuating. You guys hear it like a noise in the background? It's me unboxing the rest of those cars. So how do you join Finn the Fraser? So you just go to Google Plus, you type in and search Disney Cars and Planes Community, or you could search like my name, Disney Docket. You click on my thing, and then you'll like see links to it, and you just click join. It's free to join. You don't have to go through any process, and it's free. You start having fun. Usually, if you have a YouTube account, you automatically have a Google Plus account as well, which is a nice feature. But uh, Piston Cup Productions, we do allow sales, just so you know. I have no restrictions on sales or trades. I think just yesterday, uh, like Trunk Fresh Green 34 posted a a trade post or something, or uh, he wanted to find cars to buy. Completely fine with me. You know, I allow it all. And here we have Francesco Bernoulli from the pack. Thank you for posting the link, Disney Gunner. I really appreciate that. Makes it convenient for everybody. And yeah, the link is always in every single description of my video. Every single description of my videos. What happened to RC Cars 5 from Light, who's a verified account? Whoa, verified account, that's awesome. So yeah, I changed the name because I wanted to be more general. I want to focus more on Disney and, you know, be able to do other Disney type videos and not just cars. Oh, can they be sales and trades? I'll post some items, but PayPal is my only payment method. So, yeah, I mean, Piston Cup Productions, you just got to work it out with the member on the community. I mean, I think PayPal is the easiest thing in the world. So I'm pretty sure like everybody would have it or, you know, their parents would have it. So, yeah, feel free to, you know, post stuff on there for sale. Since we do have younger members, the chances of people buying the stuff is maybe a little less, but I mean, of course, they can always ask their parents as well. But Anthony Mora Wong, I probably will watch Ralph Breaks the Internet. I saw the first one, I really liked it. But yeah, we don't have too many sales posts. Like, not a lot of people sell on there, but it's I've tried to sell on there before. A long time ago, though. It's, Encourage. 
My favorite car so far from North Dakota. That is a tough, tough question. Thanks, by the way, Finn Frazier, for joining the community. But yeah, my favorite car, that's probably like Albert Hinky. Or, you know, if I want to go classic, I'll go with Lightning McQueen. But my new favorite car, right here. Elaine. Elaine Tiresome. Elaine Tire. Well, come on. Let's come up with a name for this. I like Elaine, though. I don't know why. She looks like an Elaine to me. You have to sleep because it is very early or very late where you are. Well, okay, that's fair enough. Have a great night and thanks for tuning in. Here we have Sheriff. He's pretty cool. It's always nice to have Sheriff. They don't release him too much. When am I going to release Carl Clutchin? So uh, yeah, I will actually do my review of him in like a week and a half. Maybe earlier if I can do it. But there will be more videos in between then, hopefully. I will try and do a video tomorrow night. Uh, I don't know what I want to do or not. Maybe Stu Scatter Shields, perhaps? Hmm, I don't know. We'll see. Disney Doc, it makes me feel like you have gave spoilers. I don't know what you mean by that, Mikel Bot. We have 1,972 members. Awesome. Thanks for letting me know, Interstate 290. We're up to 145 people. Natasha Road Off. Road Off. I like that. Actually, I'd rather just do Road Off instead of the extra A in there. But Disney Gunner, that's awesome. I know who it's modeled after, Natasha Romanoff from Marvel movies. Then she is Black Widow. My favorite Marvel film, Baron Nation, is Captain America. The Winter Soldier, followed by Avengers Infinity War. War. My favorite type of music is current pop. So I, I like, I don't know, my favorite song right now is Burnout by Martin Garrix, Justin Milo, and some other guy. I don't know. There's like three people who worked on it, but I just know it's Martin Garrix is like the main guy who did it. Axe Music is like the whole production. So yeah, I, I like current, like pop music. Any like new music I like pretty much. I don't like rap though. Thank you, Potato Power, for joining. Who will win, Thanos or the Avengers? The Avengers will definitely win. Eventually they will win without a doubt. Alrighty here. Actually, gotta give McQueen in the shot. ka -chow. This was a pretty good scene from the movie, although I wish they maybe, you know... These two or these three were good for the pack, but maybe instead of Sheriff and Sally, we could have seen like some other of the cars from the back and then they could have made them all exclusive. But of course, they only do one, of course. Happier by Marshmallow. I like that song. That's a good one. Who else has a question? Da 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 da. Favorite mini racer, Primer Lightning McQueen? Or one of those silver ones. Those are like my favorites over there. Those five. I really like those. 27 more to 2,000 members. Awesome. I can't wait. I do like Logan a lot. Logan was a great movie. Disney Gunner. It really was. Shape of You from Ed Sheeran. That's a good one. Good, good, good. Toys Games TV has the new XRC Racers. I did see someone post on the community actually. See? The community is great for news. And I don't know how that person got them, but I'm super excited. I have all of the ones pre-ordered from Amazon, so hopefully they will, you know, come out soon or be shipped soon. I will probably not get Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. You know, I just don't have time to really play games anymore. Michael Gonzalez, I really hope they make a Cars 4, but I highly doubt it. Is it strange going into stores to look at cars? No, not really. It, you know, it's just normal. I've done it for like all my life. NK Cars 10. I have not seen your chats. I mean, they go by very quickly. So perhaps I just missed it. Robert Purvu. I do like Adele. Some of her songs. Not all of them, but most of them. They're pretty good. They are on Amazon for pre-order. The X 
are ass racers. Don't let me down by the chain smokers. So the chain smokers are actually one of my favorite bands. Probably like my favorite band right now. I love so many of their songs. I like that one. Although it's not my favorite from them. My favorite from them is Side Effects. Don't say it won't kill ya. This feeling closer, Paris. I like those a lot. And then there's one more. Oh, what's the one? I can't remember. It's like the music video is like an exercise video. It's kind of weird. Interstate 290, awesome. Let me know. Trunk Fresh Green 34, are you sure? I'm pretty sure some of them are. I just checked yesterday. At least like half of them are. Like I know Barry the Pedal is. Lightning McQueen I think is as well. I do have the Cozy Cone, but I have not unboxed it yet. I don't actually, I don't think I have the link Fin Silver in this description because I haven't edited the video yet, but we'll see. I do like the Beatles. Really, is only Cruise available for pre-order? Really, that's the only one still? Wow, I'm shocked. I was just looking at them yesterday. I have no idea when Maddie McGear's mom will come out, but should be soon. I do have a couple prototypes of her mom. That sound, <laughs> that was weird, but I do. I do. I really do. All right, so Piston Cup Productions wants to see this blank gold Lightning McQueen. So this is a factory custom from a friend I got in our friend in Germany. It is in the description, is it really? I don't know how it got there. I really don't. But yeah, I don't really know much about this. Just got it recently from a friend in Germany. And he probably got it from somebody else who got it from China or whatever. So more people want to see the prototypes. Probably people who weren't here earlier when I originally showed them. But here they are. Some of my favorite prototypes. Mather's fully metal, by the way. Hello, Darcy Gregorio. Sorry if I mispronounced your name. I like the Captain Marvel trailer a lot, JS Cars 8. I love one of those. It just matches my channel, you know. Yes, it really does. And uh, let me know. Just message me on Instagram. I may be able to hook you up with one. Do you prefer Prince or Michael Jackson? I don't really listen to either of them. Disney Gunner. I haven't seen Epic Green Thunder post a comment recently, so that's why I haven't made him mod. Can I show Memo Rojas? Yes, of course. So this is another factory custom. Extremely, extremely rare. Blue Metallic Memo Rojas Jr. What a beautiful car. Got it from... A friend last year. Very, very rare. Not many were made. Can I show Primer Light McQueen? I know someone also wanted to see these silver racers as well. So we'll take a look at all of them. Starting with Primer McQueen here. So this is in a Mac Transporter set. So far only available in Europe. Some of the other minis, I think we have Ramon, uh, who else? I can't remember, but there's five minis included with the Mac Transporter, and this one is exclusive. First look to it. And here are these silver minis. Hmm, like the silver racers from Walmart and Kmart. These are more Zay Mac, in my opinion. So... Piston Car Productions, what's the lowest quantity of a die cast that has ever been made? So that would be one. They've made some one-offs before, and then they auctioned them off. Like, you know, some of the haulers, the canceled haulers, probably only like some prototypes, only one prototype was made. But if you're talking about like official releases, you know, official, official releases, like stuff that you could find in a store, and that's a little more difficult, but it's probably like Brian, maybe. Maybe Race Damage Mood Springs. Although some of the convention cars would be pretty low as well. Albert Hinky. Sorry, 
Epic Green Thunder. I haven't seen you comment, so there you go. You are now a moderator. My favorite Star Wars character is probably, you know, Rey. I like Rey. She's great. Convoy Brothers and Mac Icar. Yeah, see, there are a thousand Mac Icars, right? There's a thousand of them made, yeah. So that's actually more than some of these other cars, I believe. I actually will not be opening my Flow Precision Series set, J-Rod Z, simply because it is so rare. It's like worth over a $1,000. So, yeah, they're staying in the package for the time being. I don't know how long my live stream's going to be here. We're coming up on an hour right at... 50 minutes, so we'll see how long I want to go. But yeah, we're at 143, which seems to be like the average today with 84 likes. Thank you guys for sticking around. I really appreciate it. Really means a lot to me. Carl Zipline, your favorite next gen is Dan Carcia. That's great. He's an awesome car. Hmm, should we do another unboxing? I don't know. I don't know what to do. You know, we got these customs from Four Wheel Drive here for Halloween. If you'd like to see my review of them, the link will be in the description. Yeah, I will never open Flow Set. Like, most likely, I will never open it. And, you know, I would like to get, like, a rather cheap one loose, though. That'd be awesome. My first car, I think, was probably Lightning McQueen and Mater. Although, I was super young. I was only five years old, so... It's hard for me to remember. Favorite variation of any car ever. Wow, I have no idea. That's a tough one. Hmm. Variation. That means it's got to be like a derivation of something. Hmm. Probably like one of the Mathers. I like Mather with cone teeth a lot. You have found the Chip Gearings hauler on eBay. That's awesome. Yeah, a lot of people are starting to find them on the West Coast. Same with Ponchi Whitebots hauler, but I have not found them myself yet. Yeah, Cars Fan 24 it is, really. If you look on eBay, it's, it's going for $1,000 at least. Besides McQueen, who's my favorite racer? You know, I like Cruz Ramirez, but I think the King is probably my favorite besides him. Thank you, Robert. I really appreciate that. Hello, Jurassic World and Disney Cars Collector. Whoa. Code May Zero has many prototypes on eBay. Will I get them? I already got a lot from him, but I probably will get more just because I love prototypes. When are you doing Easy Idle review? By the way, Trunk Fresh is my favorite racer. Luke, I will do the Easy Idle review like in a week or so. You Carl Zipline fan, you ordered Carlo Veloso's Pity on eBay. That's awesome. Hopefully you get it soon. The two who disliked will find my 27 lawyers and Gordon Ramsay at their local Target. Well, thank you. I agree with that. Scrolling through the comments here. Da, 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 da. How many cars I have? I have probably around 2,000. I don't know who Kane Brown. Trunk Fresh is your favorite racer as well. Obviously, obviously. What's your favorite one-off movie? Not a part of a franchise. You know, everything's a part of a franchise nowadays. But definitely, I'd go with Baby Driver. Came out like two summers ago, maybe just one summer. I think, yeah, I think it was last year. That was a great movie. Absolutely amazing. What's that car that McQueen is facing? This one here, this is the mystery car. Brand new, or I wouldn't say new, but no one's really seen it before. So, yeah, you can probably scroll back in the live stream to check it out. I just watched Coraline last night. That's a standalone movie. All right. How was it? I've actually never really uh, heard of that movie before. 
came out in summer 2009. Yeah, Kristoff and Sadiq are pretty expensive, but that's just because they're you know only available in Europe so far. Plus, shipping makes them pretty expensive. Ryan Laney is kind of a peg warmer now. Trunk Fresh Green 34, have I found anything new lately? Yeah, yeah, actually. So I went to the stores Thursday and I bought just one Hot Wheel. It was a super treasure hunt. And yeah, I didn't find any other cars. But then I went out Friday, which was yesterday, to Target. Actually, was it yesterday? I don't know. I think it was yesterday. No, it was it was Wednesday. Jeez, I'm getting my days mixed up. It was Wednesday. Well, I also went out Thursday. I went out like every day this week, but I did find some new stuff on Wednesday. And it was just like the Chase Racelet case. So I got some extras of Chase Racelet. I got an extra Thomasville Red Meeker, but nothing like too important. And no, the Precision Series is not canceled. I would have preferred if... Dynaco Blue 43. I would have preferred if McQueen won as well. Rust Racing 90. Rust Racing. Where did you get Megan Shifter? October is going by quickly. I totally agree. You know, I'm still working, which is awesome because usually, you know, it's cold this time of year. And so a lot of people stop golfing. If you guys don't know, I'm a caddy. I work weekends usually now, just during the school year only on the weekends. The Kristoff Sadeep case is abundant in your Smith shop. Well, that is awesome. You're very fortunate. Very fortunate because that case may never hit the U.S. Aaron's World of Cars, I am very, very much so looking forward to Doc's clinic. I can't wait. The best eBay seller based in North America I'd say, you know, I really like car lot sales. Code May Zero is really good as well. Rust Racing, definitely send me that link for that online seller for Megan Shifter. That'd be great. Luis Diaz, I'm going to open Carl in about a week and a half. I have heard of the new Aladdin movie. That'd be pretty sweet. MASH, yeah, I have heard of MASH. That's like an older TV show. You have the Cars 3 Transberry Juice Racer. That's awesome. That is Marcus Cranksler. Michael Gonzalez, I don't watch basketball. I watch baseball and some football. Real videos, I will be doing some more stop motion. They just take a long, long time. So hopefully, I'll find some more time soon. Slider Petrowski, I used to be into Diary of a Wimpy Kid a lot when I was younger, but I don't have time anymore. All right, I think, you know, we should do maybe unboxing again. I don't know. I really want to unbox my blimp. This light your blimp here. Let me know if you guys want to see this unbox because, you know, what? I probably will because there's no point in making a video for him in my opinion. I don't think it'll do that well. I mean, it's just the blimp. It's very, very similar to the previous version. And uh, Caleb, or who said that? Corey Dupressed. I am a caddy at a local country club. JS Car is eight. How do I feel about the Cubs not making the playoffs? It hurt. It hurt. It's like they were so lazy. Like they could have won easily. Like they didn't have to play any of those games. You know, they played the game for the division. Didn't have to do that. Then they played the game for the wild card. They shouldn't have have to done that either. If they just you know focus more on the regular season games, you know, it's just ah. I'm very upset that they did not make the playoffs, even though I don't think they could have beat the Dodgers or the Red Sox. I don't think that's a chance. Thank you, Riley Schultz, for the compliment on the hauler. I already did a room tour of Brick's Awesome Cars collection, and it was actually in a previous live stream. I definitely prefer... Mini racers, just race. Jorit Howling, are you ever going to visit the Netherlands? You know what? I'd love to visit the Netherlands. You know, it's a great area from what I've heard, from what I've seen. So I would definitely like to, and I probably will eventually, because for my job, I probably will be traveling a lot, you know, once I graduate college. 
I will probably do 12 days of Christmas this year. It will be the five-year anniversary. So hopefully, you know, I will have time. I don't see why I wouldn't. What's that package above Maddie McGear? I don't know. There's not like, what do you mean above? Like over here? Or here? Let me know what you're referring to. I pre-ordered the Precision Series Lizzie single, Sebastian. Hopefully, it'll come soon. Anthony Moore Wong, yes. I will be reviewing Cal Weathers Holler. He will get his own unique review. You love the bandage, Luigi. Yeah, that's the Frankenstein. Like, no. Sarge is Frankenstein. Luigi is a mummy. All right, here. I don't really watch NASCAR. I just don't. I don't know. I'm just not really interested. Thank you, Pepsi Power Productions. That means a lot. Yes, it is Mummy Luigi and Guido. How do you feel when people say the Cars is one of the weakest films? You know what? I don't really care, but it's kind of sad that, you know, the one that I like the most is the one that everybody likes the least. Are you going to make 2019 cards videos? Of course. You found Doug RM for 10 bucks on Facebook. That's awesome. That's a great deal. That really is a great deal. Where'd you get that 15 at? What do you mean 15? 15, like as in Carl Clutching. I got them on eBay. Favorite tuner is Blues Harvey Rodcap. I do like Peter Pan, although, you know, I've never really seen any movies with him, so I couldn't really say for sure, but you know what? There's nothing wrong with him. Where do I get these custom cars? Like, which ones do you mean? Like, I got a lot on the table. You know, the Ramon came from eBay Toy Wiz. Those factory customs came from a friend or friends. These are from Phobia Drive. Made with Cone Teeth is an actual canceled release. And that's it. Oh, the other hauler back there, that's a custom from Jim Scavenger. Cars Collector UK. Yeah, I was kind of sad that they didn't make any private eye Mater cars. I was pretty upset that. Pretty upset about that. I don't know why. They could have made a lot of money off that. We're up to almost 100 likes. That is amazing. I can't believe it. All right. I have played Cars 3 Driven to win. Trunk Fresh Green, yes. I actually collaborated with Jim Scavenger in helping him make the gasket hauler. However, I will not buy that one. I told him when he made it. like I was like, you know what, bro? I don't like that dark blue cap on the hauler. I'm not a fan of that. Everything else looks great, but I really want him to make like one of the haulers from just, you know, the regular Dynaco haulers and not that Cal Weather hauler variant. You know, so yeah, I totally will not get that one, but I will probably get it when he makes another version. And he plans on it. We always talk about that. Like I collaborate with him every time when he makes a new hauler, like Shiny Wax, Taco Man, Full Wheel Drive, all those. And so, yeah, the next one we'll probably do uh, we're thinking about, we're thinking to do a clutch aid hauler based on the combustor hauler when he finds it, of course. RSL Nava, I am 17, almost 18. There are a lot of next gens, Eli C. If you're talking about released ones, there's about like 27 released next gens, maybe closer to 30. Total, there's 36 from the movie. Or maybe just 35. I don't know. I think there's 36 though. How many years have I been collecting cars? 12 years. 12 and a half years. That came from Matthew. 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 Zara Binia. Hopefully I pronounced your name right. Finn Fraser, these guys in the chat are so annoying. What do you mean you're getting pied? I don't know. You keep saying you're getting pied. I don't know what you mean by getting pied. Blues, so why do I not do suggestion and birthday request videos anymore? So the problem is I get all these suggestions and I get all these requests 
and I don't have time to do everybody's. I do have time to do like a couple people's, but the thing is if I do a couple people's, then you know I got to do everybody's because it's not fair to those people. So yeah, I just don't do those anymore. I don't want to show favoritism. And yeah, it's just really hard. But you know, I have a lot of people that would like those. And so it's just hard to do all of them. Yes, Epic Green Thunder. I actually was thinking about the custom hauler you made when we were talking about this. Clutch A will probably be our next hauler. All right, so we're at 131 viewers, 130. I think we're going to do an unboxing. If we can get up to 140 viewers, I'm unboxing that blimp. Let's get it to 140, guys, 140. What do I think the Avengers 4 title will be? I'm pretty sure it'll be Aven Avengers 4. Hmm, Avengers 4, like the last Avenger, like the last stand. Avengers 4, something last. Or like the end or end game, something like that. Hashtag Kenny Nets. Kenny Nets, the clutch aid hauler. That's right. We're at 128 viewers. Come on. Got to get up to 140. Michael Gonzalez, I'm glad I answered all your questions. All right, Sally, I have not found any new mini racers, which... I assume you're referring to wave four. Yes, the new cam spinner is Thailand, although the one from the Fireball Beach set, I'm pretty sure, is China. Help me promote this, please. Yes, the blimp. He is suffocating. So if we get to 140 views, we can save him. Jedi Disney docket. I like that. I like that a lot. Interstate 290, I do live in Illinois. You were collecting cars since the first movie came out. That's awesome. I'm glad you've been here from the start. We're at 133 viewers. Let's go. Let's go. I'm sorry that you have a delayed send time, Finn Frazier. It's just, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I can't really avoid that. I have been to downtown Chicago. I go there quite frequently. It's a great area. Lots of fun. Lots of shopping. When is the collection show? So I will do my collection video. My entire collection video, part one, like November 10th or November 17th. Somewhere around there, you'll see part one. And part two will come out like a week later, maybe a couple days later, probably a, a week later. So yeah, it'll be a lot of fun. I hope you guys are looking forward to it. I'll make a formal announcement on my Google Plus community soon. Found anything at Walmart recently? So yeah, I got actually an extra of Red Meeker and Metallic Fabulous Lightning McQueen from the Thomasville series. I also found Brick Yardley's launcher there recently as well, but that was kind of more of a long time ago. You know, my Walmarts are just so stocked with like Dan Holland's case with Frank Pinkerton. There's just too many of those, too many. Yes, Trunk Fresh Green 34, the plain stuff will still be featured. They're only like on five shelves. I only have five shelves of planes. And so, yeah, won't take long to show them. It'll be nice. We're at 133 viewers. Let's go. Let's get it up. Let's get it up. Listen to Hamilton. It's really good musical. You know, I've heard it's a great musical. So... Maybe I'll see it eventually. Justin Zimmerman, what college? I'm still in high school, but hopefully I will be attending Northwestern University. I hope. I really, really hope so. We'll see. I'll let you guys know when I know. Do you know about a century ago, World War I came to an end? Yeah. Yeah. I think it ended sometime in 2019. Or 1919. <laughs> yes, Aaron State, I have been... To Rosemont, Illinois, they have like a lot of conventions there. Daily uploads, <laughs> daily uploads is like a summer thing. Daily uploads is the hardest thing I've ever done. It is it is tough. I don't think I'll ever really be able to get to that point again. But recently, I've been doing like two videos a week on average. So hopefully, 
you know, that's been, you know, enjoyable for you guys, the right amount. I just, I really struggle. It's hard to do a lot of videos, like daily videos. It's tough. It's really tough. Misty Motocrass or Carlo Veloso from Bluest. Gotta go with Carlo Veloso. More original in my opinion. Matthias, Ibrahim, Paredes, Hunka, Hunaka. Sorry if I mispronounced your name. But I will probably do a face reveal down, down, down the line. Way into the future. So if you are a long enough supporter, you will see my face eventually. And I'm glad you think two videos is perfect. Trunk Fresh Green 34, I think it's perfect as well. I really have been enjoying doing the two videos a week. It's been great. You know what? We're not going to get to 140 viewers, unfortunately. It doesn't seem like it, but I will unbox the blimp anyway. Let's see if we can just get to 130, though, because we're at 123 right now. No, not 50,000 subscribers. Probably not then. Probably later. Trees the Sparks. I will do a face reveal in the future. Way into the future. You know what? We're just going to unbox it because I don't think our viewers are going to go up. Seems like everyone's heading off to dinner or something. And we got tape in the blimp. Come on. I don't like tape. Down to 118. What's going on? Where is everyone going? All right, let's see if I can get this off. There we go. All right. Michael Gonzalez, I changed my name so I can broaden my content and not focus just on cars videos, but do videos on all types of Disney properties. So here is the Lightyear blimp. This guy looks great. Awesome. You know, I was catting one time. I actually saw a Goodyear blimp fly above, like right above. It was so close to the ground. I wouldn't actually say close to the ground. I'd say like more like directly above me, like to the point where like a shadow was cast near me because of it. You know, I would like to do some Star Wars videos, but I just don't know much about it. So I would probably have to employ some help from somebody. So here is the blimp. There he is. We'll throw him in the back there. Yes, the blimp is breathing. He is good now. Thank you, Robert. That was a lot of subscribers there. I don't know if that's even possible. I don't even think that many people live in the world. Some people want to see Carl clutching up close, so we'll end the live stream here with a final shot of Carl clutching the Easy Idol Racer review coming out in like a week and a half, so stay tuned for that. Hopefully you're excited. It'll be my last stock car review probably ever, so definitely you need to tune in for it. All right, JS Cars 8, you're going to help me with Star Wars. Maybe 100,000 subscribers, I'll do a face reveal. Slider Petrowski, your friend has seen me before, really? I'm not sure. I, re I don't know if anybody has seen me. Full Wheel Drive 7 says, hold up. So we're going to listen. We're going to hold up. What does he want? Full Wheel Drive 7 has an important topic. If he asked me to sing the song again, the live stream immediately is going to end. I'm not seeing that song again. Who is your least favorite racer from very each movie? Or I don't know what you meant to say there. You said from very movie. I don't know. I don't like Clutch Aid. Little Torquey Pistons is not one of my favorites either. Synergy, bleh. Carbon Cyber, bleh. Sorry. Not a fan of those. All right, Full Wheel Drive 7, what's going on? What's your important topic? We unboxed three different things today. We got a lot of stuff going on. Road Trip Lizzie was canceled, by the way. Many eBay listings of cars have been selling in auctions for very low prices. Yes. All right, so 
a lot of like older cars have been selling very cheaply lately and it's kind of saddening it's like you see the value of these cars just go down so much and you're like you know you're kind of sad like you think you had something rare but then now it's just selling for like 20 bucks where as it used to sell for 50 but i feel like the market is so saturated right now with disney cars like even though they may not have like a lot of this one character they have so many in general that you know individual cars are suffering and they're depreciating in value Although I don't think it'll last forever. I think it'll definitely, you know, in years to come, the value of, let's say, Swift Alternator or Milo, cars that have only been released once will go up. Those are the cars you got to keep an eye on. Cars that were only released once, Johnny, Jamie, Skip Richter, you know, Skip Richter had his non-lenticular and his regular lenticular release, but, you know, cars really that have only one release those are going to be the rare ones in the future. So yeah, you got Milo, Johnny, Jamie. Who else we got here? Was Sally with Cone. Nah, she's not that rare anymore because she got re-released. You know, when something gets re-released, the value just goes down, even if it's in the package. Like say you have Brian Park Motors, the souvenir vendor. You got him up in the package from 2010. Super rare, right? They released the 2018 version, which... They are planning on doing, even if you have them in the package, like that version, like nothing changed. Like there's still the same amount of ones made, but the value of that one's going to go down just because people can get him the new route. So that's my take on it, but definitely keep your eye on cars that have only been released once. Like even if they're newer, like Vic Vanley, you know? Cars like that, they're going to be rare eventually. Let me think of some more one-off releases. You know, Kimura Keizo, Kingpin no Bunaga, Pinion Tanaka. The Queen is pretty rare as well. So, yeah. A lot of the final lab ones were only released once. Let me think. Wet Lightning McQueen, Muddy Lightning McQueen. Who else? I don't know. But anyway... That is all for this live stream. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the mystery. Going to a name from Natasha Rodoff or no Rodoff, something like that. Natasha something. And thank you guys very much for tuning in. I had a great time. An 80 minute live stream. Thank you, Russ Racing. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I had a great time. I plan on doing more live streams, of course, in the future. Maybe some live stream around Christmas, sometime around there, I'll do another one. This was my first live stream in like nine months, so yeah. We had lots of viewers, 114 likes, kept an average of like 140 to 50 viewers. Thank you guys very much for the kind words. Have a great day. Slider Petrowski, yes, this live stream will not be deleted. It will be uploaded onto my channel. Although, I don't know exactly how to stop it. We'll figure it out. I'll figure out how to stop this thing. Oh, wow. Check this out. I don't know if this will show up on screen. Do you guys see that? You can get like a pumpkin effect. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that's even showing up on the screen. But, yeah. They give you all these options to like customize it. Anyway. Yeah. Thank you guys very much for watching. Had a great time. Really did. Happy Halloween. You'll have a great time if you go out trick-or-treating. Hopefully, maybe this video got you in the mood. You guys saw the pumpkins on the screen? That's awesome. Let's put them up again. Yeah, look at that. Nice effect from YouTube. I appreciate that, YouTube. May the force be with you as well, McFrozen Nuggets. I will see you guys next time, probably in a couple days for another video. Goodbye and farewell.